Now, I've been through quite a lot as a stutterer, but having learned to overcome it, I'd love to give something back and help others who stutter. Hello there! <laughs> May I be blunt? Flying in the USA, I find it difficult to tell one airline from another. So at the age of around 12, I remember watching a television commercial which was advertising Transworld Atlantic Airlines, short TWA. And I used to love watching it as there were some rather attractive cheerleaders who would zoom across the screen on rotor blades shouting TWA in the USA. Now I remember one day trying to copy them and then realizing that I stumbled over the words and more alarmingly began to stutter. And no matter how often I tried to repeat the phrase, I always blocked and couldn't get the words out. And so began many years of life as a stutterer. Having attended a few speech therapy sessions and numerous people offering me advice, my early years at secondary school were at times challenging as I withdrew from many conversations simply to minimize the risk of being ridiculed for having a stutter. I was a keen sportsman and liked to think I worked hard at my academic studies, but I didn't quite realize that what I was about to be offered was in fact the key to my monumental breakthrough in my fluency in speaking. And what I'm referring to is the opportunity to sing. I had been singing as a chorister uh, from the age of seven and hadn't truly understood the power of singing until recent years. The turning point came when I was given the chance to be the bass soloist in Handel's Messiah in my school concert. Now normally this was a part given to a member of staff, but the director of music obviously saw something in me that I hadn't seen. So there I was at the Fairfield Halls in South East London, Croydon, and singing the bass solos. And immediately, almost immediately, any feelings of being not cool or feeling withdrawn just vanished. Singing finally gave me something to get my teeth into and it was an outlet for me to express myself freely. It was a revelation and a fantastic feeling. With my speech, however, nothing much changed and I developed systems for coping and thought of myself as being a supercharged human thesaurus, able to rapidly call up new words into my head, testing them, testing them first for their susceptibility for me to stutter over. Now, at first, this was a slow process and one that was often the source of great hilarity, not with me, I hasten to add. And When I was put in the awkward position of being introduced to someone and obviously didn't have a substitute for my name, um, I'd pause, pretend not to have heard them ask me and... I smile nervously before <coughs> coughing <coughs> and spluttering out Rodney. There had to be a better way or at least another option for me. When I had the chance, I'd ensure that I'd always introduce myself first, having given myself a few <laughs> private practice run-ups or saying my name under my breath since that way the pressure was off Here it comes, most exciting hour of 
Price is. The fabulous 60 Minute Price is right. I used to say that I'll be useless at being a contestant on a TV game show for <laughs> pressing the buzzer because I knew the answer and then simply being unable to say it on time. These things plagued my mind and I decided to set targets for myself, small challenges, which would improve my confidence. I took part in drama classes and plays which I enjoyed and deliberately put myself into situations by which I would have to find a way through. Learning and reciting words was always easier as you know what word was coming up next, but it still wasn't something you felt you had full command over or indeed a choice. It was often still restrictive. Months after the school performance, my head of music decided to put me in contact with the Director of Vocal Studies at the Royal Academy of Music in London. I had never heard of this place and uh, I had a what they call a consultation lesson where I'm introduced to the teacher. I auditioned and was fortunate enough to be told that there'd be something seriously wrong with this world if this boy doesn't have a career. Now he may well have been flattering me but I could see in his eyes that he obviously saw something very special in me and my father who was also sitting there with me noticed the same and really this is a moment in my life that affirmed my desire to follow my passion my passion to becoming an internationally renowned singer the dream the impossible dream to find the unbeatable fall to bear with unbearable sorrow to run where the brave cannot go so I auditioned and managed to secure a place I followed my passion turning down university places to read other subjects I studied for several years to become a classical singer and graduated with a first class honours degree in music performance now I was stubborn but driven and remain so as I now fully understand how important singing is to me Now, in the years that followed, I didn't have much time to think, but one day the penny dropped. You can't stutter when you sing. Now, I had heard about this, but not really worked out why this was the case. Now, having studied for all this time, I had unconsciously embedded good speaking habits through my deep practice of singing. I'd even become sensitive to noticing other stutterers, especially those with the same category stutter as mine, namely covert, being good at masking it. It made me curious and keen to help others. Although something didn't sit well with me, and it was that label, covert. Here's the crucial thing. I didn't feel that I was hiding my stutter as such when I was actually trying to speak but hiding it from becoming public knowledge that I stuttered. To me there's a subtle difference. The question is why did I not feel as though I was hiding the fact that I stuttered when I spoke? Well this is because I didn't feel that I was actually speaking. Now, hang on in there with me. What I'm about to say isn't new, but I found from researching and asking around that not every sufferer had had the positive reinforcement to continue on this path to what I call singing speaking. Using your singing voice, fashioning 
the singing voice that rises and the falls to sound like speech. Or try, hello, how are you? My name is Rodney. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. There needed to be a rudimentary and concise technical handbook out there, giving stutterers a toolkit of methodical steps to take in moments where they felt their stutter was ruling them. A deeper understanding was required. Now, as a freelance singer, I love to spend part of my time to give coaching, vocal coaching, and now I've decided to extend my skills and experience to help stutterers learn the techniques I have used over the years. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, I would love to give something back and create an opportunity for others to learn about my journey and how I overcame my stutter. I have first-hand experience and personal knowledge about stuttering and how I changed the focus of the label. I perfected my technique, giving me the chance to have what I believe to be a richer representation of myself, able to choose the words I actually want to use. I have grown in confidence love embracing conversations, enjoying meaningful and fluid discussions with family and friends and becoming more open to meeting new people and taking on greater challenges in the workplace setting. I enjoy high levels of fluency which have enabled me to work in television as an award ceremony host, a live presenter in concerts and much more. Now, I suppose you're wondering what exactly are these techniques I'm using and how can you benefit from them yourself? Well, this course, Singing Speaking, is where you can learn the techniques I used. And I encourage you all to even watch the first video and then you'll get an idea of how things could be for you, of how you could move from where you are to where you want to be in a relatively short space of time. You've got to understand that you have to ensure that you speak on the out breath so that breath is really flowing forward and you're using all the vowel sounds, connecting them with your out breath. Do you understand? Yeah. Now, lastly, it's important for me to say that I'm not offering a cure to stuttering, but a real opportunity to change your focus about how you speak and discover an honest alternative to fluency in communication. 